Hey, what is up guys and welcome back. So our first ever 6S ESC testing has been released. So far today I've tested four ESCs. I've completely gotten the setup how I want it and I started off with the Mamba because I know many of you want to see the Mamba because it is an insane deal. You're talking about 80 bucks. Some of you might say, whoa, that's really expensive. But listen to this, 80 bucks. F7 flight controller with OSD, with a 9 volt regulator, I think I remember, 9 volt regulator, with Bluetooth, with a 6S ESC, with a bunch of other things also, for 80 bucks, that's really great, because, for example, a T-Motor here is 90 bucks, just the ESC by itself, you know, here we have the metal uh, V2s, I think these are, I tested them today also, these are like 60, 70 bucks as well, and I also tested the, the new Acon, the, the Acon 55 or 65, uh, the biggest one, and that one did something really strange and unexpected, to be honest, but we'll keep that for a later video. So this has been tested today, and I'm very pleased to say that it's a, it's a good ESC. Um, I was actually quite surprised, to be honest. Now, there's a couple things to take note of also. We're going to get into the testing in a bit so you can see everything for yourself. I did test this without a low ESR capacitor and with low ESR capacitor. What they've done differently with this ESC is instead of using a P and an N channel FET, they use two N channel FETs for each phase. And what that does is it's more efficient, less heat, and the lower the heat, the more efficiency, the better it is for the overall board. You want to keep these as cool as possible. However, saying that, um, I did notice something different than the other ESCs. The heat dissipation on this wasn't as good as the other ESCs because the other ones had a heatsink. So Mamba, if you're watching, please add some heatsinks on these. It didn't affect anything so far, but in the long run, we'll just be better off with a heatsink. So if you're able to add a heatsink, even a tiny one, that'll do really great for this board because it is slightly thinner than others as well. But then again, you're only paying 70 or 80 bucks for all of this, which is quite remarkable. And I'm really happy and excited that this tested great, which is a good thing. Now, we are going to get into the testing, the FPV video feed, and the noise testing. However, I have one thing to say before we do that, guys. If I do help you make a purchase or avoid a purchase, please consider just clicking on the links down below or joining my Patreon. Times are getting really tough right now, and I'm actually sometimes starting to think to go look for a job because I am doing this full time. So it's, it's getting quite difficult lately. So if any support, that would be super great in order to keep me doing these things here. So let's get into the testing, and we'll take it from there. All right, guys, so this is the Mamba F7 6S ESC test. On the bottom, we have the throttle noise level test with a low ESR capacitor. And on the top, we have the simulated aggressive flight maneuvers uh, without the low ESR capacitor. Let me actually remove these. Let's start with the uh, throttle noise level test. Now, as you can tell, it's not doing so great without a low ESR capacitor. And that goes for almost like 98% of all 6S ESCs. And that's why they provide the low ESR capacitor for you. Do you see the difference that it makes here? This is like super crazy mid-throttle oscillation going on for you here. Um, this is with the low ESR capacitor that was provided. And as you can tell, it's running really clean. There isn't any jitters, anything weird going on. And you could see things, uh, if something's wrong with the ESC, you can see it's that are with the low ESR capacitor because this would basically mask the issues here. Uh, no jitters, no stutters. It just ran, 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 which is really great. And that wasn't the case for all the ESCs I tested today, which was quite surprising, actually. So what I'm going to do also is we're going to compare this ESC to it. This one right here, 75 bucks. This is 80 bucks. So $5 more, you get an F7 Bluetooth 
nine volt regulator and, and the ESC and everything. So this is where you know it's it's a really jaw dropping price for this Mamba stack. Uh, let's go ahead and bring in the noise. Okay. So on the bottom we're looking at the Acon, and on top we're looking at the Mamba noise. Now you can tell that the Mamba is not doing as good as the Acon, but you're actually kind of wrong because the Acon would sometimes jitter and one of the motors would go lower than the rest and uh, you'll see that in the review. For example, what am I talking about? Well, if I bring in for you, do you see this right here? This is still, this is the Acon now with a low ESR capacitor. It's running really good. And then you get this really nasty, uh, it just goes crazy. One of the motors just goes crazy and it keeps happening. With a low ESR capacitor, it happens towards the end of the throttle. As you can tell, toward, this is the full throttle, 100% throttle. Without the low ESR capacitor, it happens in the beginning of the throttle. Uh, I'm going to bring that up for you here. There it is. So now this is the Acon. So the issue would happen around this area uh, without the low ESR capacitor with that motor. And then here, but you know, that could be because it's a bad, one of the motors is bad, or I mean, one of the FETs is bad, the phases is bad on it. Yeah, I wasn't really happy with that um, at all. This is something you won't be able to kind of get support for unless you can test like me here. And even then it might be very difficult to get a replacement or something. Uh, so yeah, this wasn't really great here. And this is not the first time that's happened to me, to be honest, with the, with the Acon ESC. I have another one also, which I'm going to test it again before I release the official review of this one. Uh, if anything changes, then you'll know in the review of the Acon 55 amp. So what am I trying to say here? Well, the Mamba F7, first of all, its price is really great. If it was a hundred bucks, it'd still be a really great deal, to be honest. Hopefully they're not listening to that part, but uh, there's no jitters. It just ran really clean. And I was so amazed with it that it was able to even run without a low ESR capacitor. That's really great. Um, it didn't have any jitters, anything. It just ran really good, but it got really, really hot. So yeah, I usually, I start out with the low ESR tests and then I cut off the low ESR and then I begin the uh, testing without the low ESR. So overall, um, this is a great ESC. I would consider it currently a slightly above average and um, it's still too early to put it in any category, but currently it's testing really great. This is not going to answer longevity. Nothing will answer longevity use. That just comes down to actually using it for a while. Unfortunately, I can't use all of these ESCs forever. I have limited amount of time and this is the best thing I could currently do until I put it on the build. And I want to put this one on the build, to be honest. This is one of those things that I'd really like to do long-term testing on. But again, if anyone's used these let us know down in the comment section that is where all the information should lie from personal experience but be you know educated when you speak don't be like oh this is stupid it's bullshit it's scam that just doesn't make sense just you know it just shows that you don't know what the hell you're doing so yeah just keep the comments section updated for other people to know and um, I'll have a link to everything down below again if you could check those out those greatly support the channel and I also will add the motors I used for the testing which were RC and power I really like them and um, they they were kind of noisy and that's the reason that's the type of test I like to put really noisy motors uh, on my testing setup so we can get really really worst case scenario so if the ESC can handle this test then it's going to be great in real life and I have nothing to worry about and I really hope you enjoyed the video let me know what you think down in the comment section and I'll see you in the next one peace out guys